tonight. This is the last time they'll see each other before they meet in the center of the ring tomorrow night. It's the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Welterweight Championship of the World. Did he make weight? Did he make weight? 146 and a half. Oh, Adrian Broner weighs in at 146 and one half pounds. Manny Pacquiao weighs in at a ready 146 pounds. 146 for the champion. What's up, y'all? Leon with Champ Side checking in with y'all. Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner. Both fighters on weight, 146. And we got a fight. Tomorrow night on Showtime Pay Per View, Pacquiao and Broner face off for the WBA regular welterweight title. Both fighters look ready. AB looks serious as fuck today. He looked very focused. Manny Pacquiao was typical laid back cooling cracking a little smile they both look in shape Broner looked in great shape you know for people who talk about him and his weight and how he blows up between fights he looked like he was in great shape he didn't crack a joke he didn't crack a smile he was focused he said he doing this shit for the hood I'm hoping that we see a flip of the switch with Adrian Broner just in the same way that we saw Canelo flip that switch in the rematch with Triple G you know, he made that adjustment and he brought the fight to Triple G. And I'm hoping that we see, you know, everybody is, you know, constantly saying, is AB going to let his hands go? Is he going to let his hands go? And I hope for AB's sake, you know, that he does because he will need to in a fight with Manny Pacquiao, somebody who throws a ton of punches. You know, he can't afford to lose round by round by round based on Manny Pacquiao's activity. Now, Manny Pacquiao is 40 years old, and I think people are not accounting for the fact that, you know, you can get old overnight. You know, you can you can have an off night at 40, probably more frequently than you would if you were 28. And Manny Pacquiao is one of those athletes like a Drew Brees, a Tom Brady, a Kobe, a Jordan, who at 40, they still better than fighters that's 30 or younger in their prime because they're that good. You know, Manny Pacquiao ran in his, he ran shit in his era. You know, he might have not been the top dog because that was Floyd, but he ran shit in his era. And that just shows you that he could easily, Manny Pacquiao would compete with any welterweight today, period. Um, he might not win, he might not be the favorite, but he could, he could give any welterweight today a run for their money and he definitely could beat them, no question. So, uh, but we'll have to see what this fight looks like, you know. I think Pacquiao knows that AB wants to counter him. So, you know, he's going to have to counter his counters. And, you know, for AB, he, he can be, you know, he's going to have to bring the fight to Pacquiao. You know, back him up. You know, make him uncomfortable. Dog him out. You know, wear him down. We saw Jeff Horn. You know, people, whether you think he won or not in that fight, Jeff Horn gave Manny Pacquiao problems with his physicality. He pushed him around. He got him tired. He wore him out. So, that, I don't know. That's not really Broner's style. But I think Kevin Cunningham is, is a good coach. As well as uh, his coach, Mike Stafford. And they probably have, you know, a decent game plan. Or, excuse me, they probably have a game plan, you know, ready for this fight. And, uh... I think Broner knows that the world is watching him. And, you know, we watched a lot of times. You know, we watched with Mikey Garcia more recently. But this is an even bigger fight. This is on pay-per-view against a household name. A guy who fought Floyd Mayweather, you know, in the biggest fight in, in boxing. So, at the time. So, 
that's I think that's what Adrian Broner is looking at. You know, he sees that, especially in boxing. If you win a fight against Pacquiao right now at this time in your career, you can have a resurgence. You can rebirth your entire career, your entire perception of who you are as a person, as a fighter, as a man by beating Pacquiao uh, just in this fight, you know, regardless of what's happened in your career. So if he embraces that and, uh, you know, he puts it in, in the ring, you know, he might have to have his best performance of his life, but we don't know what we'll see from Manny Pacquiao. You know, I feel like Manny Pacquiao thinks, you know, he's going to win this fight. He feels like he's the better fighter. He feels like he's the more uh, disciplined fighter uh, mentally and physically and as far as commitment to boxing. So, you know, his approach has seemed a little laid back. But I notice, you know, you kind of notice that, you know, he was looking for, you know, Broner didn't feed in the Pacquiao's amusement of him. I think he finally got around to seeing or hearing that, you know, Manny Pacquiao was basically, basically like you a clown, you know, like you're so, you funny. Like I, I when I see you, just the, just the sight of you, I have to laugh. And so tell me what y'all think about this fight in the comments, subscribe, like, and comment, share at the champ side, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, www.champside.com. As always, I appreciate your time. I'm out.